Hello, welcome back to a, another video. Cater and pack testing is the channel. My name is Ben, and uh, just kind of doing some videos to help you guys out and uh, to kind of create discussion amongst the pack testing world. Um, so if you do have any questions, please feel free to give me a message, drop me a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe as well. So today we are testing, um, basically, we're in an office and we've got some built-in um, kind of desk sockets which are um, kind of moulded into the desk and then underneath the desk, I don't know if you can see it, but they're kind of hardwired underneath and that black cable comes down and it will come down to one of these connectors here. And these are quite common in offices and uh, places like that and they're called GST connectors or ST connectors, the old type were. And they're made by a company, the original ones were Wyland, I think, W-I-E-L-A-N-D. And it's basically just a three pole connector, which connects there and then goes back to a standard 13 amp plug here. Um, so this, this particular type of desk, or would you believe, uh, will require three tests so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be testing the uh, Wyland, you know, the GST extension lead here. So you'll need to get yourself um, a GST adapter. You can buy them or you can make them up yourself. Uh, so a, a GST to IEC lead that will go back into your machine. And then you can do an IEC continuity test. Then you will do uh, plug that back in. Um, and then you will do uh, your standard extension lead test. So you plug your 13 amp plug into the machine and then you will plug in here your test adapter, which will go back into the machine like that. So you carry out your IEC check. And then once you've done that check, the one that's commonly missed out is these particular extension leads are metal framed and they are treated as a class one device. And you just see down in the corners there, might be a bit tricky, in the corners there, there's some earth connections which can be connected to a metal part of a desk if, if that's okay. This particular one is wooden. But you need to do a class one test and you can get an earth reading off of these metal strips here. So that's, that's often a test that is missed out. Also a little trick of the trade here, these particular ones have built-in fuses. They're rated at 3.15 amp. They're, I think they're glass quick blow fuses. So basically these are meant for IT equipment, laptops, things like that. Someone comes along, plugs in a heater, you've got fuse protection there, um, so the fuses will pop. But when you're carrying out your extension lead test, and you're doing the polarity check, if any of these fuses have popped, then you'll get an open circuit reading on your pack tester. Um, so don't let that confuse you. Um, if you get an open circuit reading, you might just need to change the fuse in the sockets, try again, and that should give you a green light and you're good to go with your test. So uh, yeah, if you do have any comments about this, any questions, please leave them. Uh, always great to hear from you guys and girls and uh, look forward to uh, making some more videos for you soon.